STEM subjects are science, technology, engineering and math. I think people forget how broad range it is, so when they, when they think of it they just think the hardcore, you know, chemistry, physics, biology, anything like that, and they kind of shy away from the fact that they might be interested in some of the broader subjects. Um, you don't necessarily need to stay within the lab or become a doctor or a dentist. There are other ways you can work for an agency, you can work for a publisher, you can take, you can take work in a museum, you can communicate with schools, you know, you can use your education to kind of move your career into the area that you want to go into. So for me, science is definitely the way forward. I think it's easy to kind of associate the STEM subjects with being quite factual, but when actually all you're trying to do is get their end solution, get the result. So there's lots of different creative ways of doing that, definitely within the work environment and research projects. I never appreciated um, how STEM subjects can be creative until I started working in industry where I worked a lot with doctors, physicians, researchers, um, and realised that the whole creative process of you know drug discovery of um, pharmaceutical research and development, um, that all of that was actually extremely creative. There is a kind of a misconception that STEM and creativity can't sit together, can't be part of the same career, that if you do one you can't do the other. And as a creative director in an agency which includes healthcare within its output, um, I, I kind of fundamentally disagree with that. Creativity is just problem solving and within the STEM world, I mean the, the whole thing is based on problem solving. So the two have to live together. Um, so the idea that they are in some way diametrically opposed is just completely false. People who enter STEM careers have to be capable of thinking outside the box. Traditionally it's kind of looked at as being quite linear and that one step leads to the next step leads to the next step and that's how a lot of scientists approach um, solving kind of scientific problems and equations and all that kind of stuff. Solutions come from weird, unusual places. They don't always come from following the next step, the next step, the next step in a logical way. Sometimes you need a weird stimulus to set you off on a completely different path. The number of scientific discoveries that have been by accident is amazing.